How can I send a summary report to my grantor? So this sounds like a nonprofit question. Just for the income and expenses related to our grant, we use QuickBooks Desktop. Ah, great question, and you're gonna love this. It takes a little bit of setup, but it's painless. Have your grantors in the customer job list as customers. And what's more, as a bonus, although you didn't ask this part of the question, um, whenever I add grantors to the customer job list in QuickBooks Desktop, I always use the customer type field and I create a customer type called grantor. I know I'm so complicated and just and, and overcomplicated and that's unnecessarily. Um, I call it grantor. That way later you can run certain types of reports and only show donors or only show grantors. Um, so I love adding the, the grantor tag or the donor tag, for example. So anyhow, when you create a customer with that grantor's name, what you also do then is tag every income transaction and every expense transaction with that donor's name, with the name of that grant. So for example, um, you can record an invoice, a sales receipt, or a deposit to show income tagged with that grant in the customer job field. And when you spend down that grant, when you steward those grant funds in every expense screen, whether it is write checks screen, enter bills, enter credit card charges, you fill in the payer, the, the vendor, sorry, the payee, you fill in the expense account, the dollar amount, the date, etc. And in the customer job field, you enter the grantor's name. Finally, with all of that set up, all you have to do to run this report that you're asking for, a summary report of all income and all expenses, you can run a profit and loss. And when you do in QuickBooks Desktop, you click Customize Report and add a filter to only show the name of that grantor. And when you click OK, you're instantly going to have a profit and loss income, expense, and net at the bottom, but it's only going to show you the totals for transactions that you have previously tagged with that grantor's name or the name of the grant. Is that awesome? I know. So that's how you can do it in QuickBooks Desktop. Um, and what you'll see is your, you, the income accounts, it'll say federal grants or state grants or local grants, whatever. And then you have your expense accounts related to that. Maybe you spent the grant money on personnel, or maybe you spent the grant money on supplies, or, or rent, or other things that, that you needed to spend on that grant. All of those categories will be there, but the totals will only be the ones that you have summarized, or that you have tagged that grant. Oh, I love this technique. Just be aware that if you use this technique, I strongly advocate that you use that no matter what the transaction is, if it's for grants or not, you fill out the customer job field. And if there's no grant, if you're, let's say you're paying rent and it's not covered by a grant, create a customer called no grant. And the reason this is, you can't do a, this is quality control. You wanna make sure that nothing got missed. And you, if you left that field blank in the case of not relating to a grant, you wouldn't be able to ever know if it was left blank because of an accidental oversight or if it was intentionally left blank because it doesn't apply. It doesn't, it's not part of any grant. So actively tag it, no grant or put in the grant name. And also as a, as a second bonus, you, because of the customer job structure hierarchy in QuickBooks desktop, you can even have the grantor as a, a company or a trust or an individual or whoever it is is a grantor. And if they give multiple grants, let's say over multiple years, you can have a colon and then have the grant name um, as a job name. This isn't better or worse. What this puts you in a position to do is to have reports for each individual grant and also reports for the grantor as a whole for all grants added up. So if that, if that would ever be useful to you, that's the technique that it would use to make that happen.